Good morning, everybody. Derek from 3DPD here. I thought I'd take you through what a morning on a 3D printer farm looks like. And this is the morning harvest. So all these machines have been running overnight. And now we check to see how we did. So it looks like that's a pass. That's a pass. That's a pass. So for this rack, we only had the three printers running. I'll come over to the other side here. We had four printers running last night. That's a pass. That's a pass. Still in progress, but looking good. Also still in progress, but looking good. And then to the Prusa mini rack. We had 16 printers running last night. Looking good, 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 that's good, good, a little bit of stringing, but we can fix that with a key again, good, 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 a little bit of stringing, but we can fix that. Good and good. All right, come around to the other side here. We had all 15 Prusa Mark 3S's running last night, and this is all in multiple colors. So it's good, good, good. In progress and looking good. In progress and looking good. Same. Good, good, good. That one's good. Good, good. This is PETG, and we're printing up some R6 extruders for the uh, Prusa Mini. This is the last of the, the series, like eight prints. That one's good. Good, and in progress, but looking good. And then we come over to the clones. So, in progress and looking good. Same. We got Clone 2 air printing which yesterday I tore him apart and uh, I thought I fixed him. Apparently not. So he's going to go on the bench flag for maintenance. And good. So for all the printers then, we only had one failure last night. That's not bad. Not ideal, but not bad. And uh, we'll go through and do our harvest, which I'm not going to video the whole thing. I just want to show the how easy it is, especially with these Fiztech textured PEI sheets that reach over, them. and then I usually use the print to clear the bed. And then I power cycle the machine, wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol, and it's ready for the next series. So we collected orders overnight last night, it's a part of my morning routine after harvest everything and putting it onto my outbox as I'll go through and start all the new prints. So anyway, I just want to show what a day in the life of a print farmer looked like. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.